I started off in, uh, well, too late. <laughs> like the first day of hurricane season. And, uh, well, you know, I was either stay, do that or stay another year. And that, that would just put it wasn't going to happen, so I left anyway. The Caribbean trip only got hit by one hurricane and threatened by another one. The hurricane in Boca Raton, Puerto Rico, uh, was only a double-digit hurricane, which basically I got no respect for. And uh, the other one, however, was uh, the one that threatened. Uh, it was like, you know, we're looking at the... Uh, with the shortwave, you know, the ham rig up there, you can download stuff from the, the weather service and from the Coast Guard and stuff like that. Same thing you see on TV when they're showing you the path of the hurricane. And this hurricane was honking along with like 145 mile an hour winds. That I got major respect for. <laughs> And this thing was, they say it's going to, you know, keep going west, going west, okay, and hit Hispaniola. And we were in the Bahamas at Georgetown, in Great Exuma. And the previous night, we downloaded the last, you know, satellite images of the day. And you could see the dang uh, hurricane go, and then right at the last frame, a hint of northern movement. Next morning we get up and that sucker is heading right straight for us. So we motor over to Red Rocks and throw out all the anchors we got and everything, you know, and fortunately the thing decided to uh, go over and hit El Salvador instead. From Sanford, which is like 10 miles north of Orlando, put it in uh, just west of Lake Monroe, then about 200 miles down the St. John's, and then you can either go down the inland waterway or you can go outside and do some ocean sailing. Basically, it was just, you know, down to Grenada and back the other way. Uh, went down through the Bahamas, through the Turks and Caicos, to uh, uh, the Dominican Republic, and off to Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands, the British Virgin Islands, which I like better than the U.S. Virgin Islands. If I'd known about the, the reef off Belize, I sure as heck wouldn't have come back the same way. Thing is, there's a lot of cool stuff on the way down that I didn't mind seeing on the way back anyway, you know, so. Coolest thing I've ever done in my freaking life. I mean, I cannot express how cool it was. Anybody that has a boat and doesn't go down there is cutting themselves short. And, and the beauty of it is, everything is a day sail, except for three places between here and South America where you gotta do an overnighter. Other than that, you're hauling butt for this island you think is over here. And about the time that one starts peeking over the horizon, the one that you left back here is dipping below. You don't even need a compass down there. You're doing the Bahamas because they're scattered all over the place. You gotta make sure you're aiming at the right island, which sometimes it's kind of hard to tell since they're all low scrubby things and all look like.